Let's walk through another Joseph de Camp painting. I'm Don Victor, and welcome. Let me ask you a question. When you're in the zone, you're, you're painting, you're drawing, you're playing music, you're working. In this case, the woman is sewing. And you're going through that repetitive motion, and you're, you're in that zone, and, and it, everything just fades away. What does that feel like for you? Does it feel like prayer or like you're in this moment of Zen where you're just beyond time? You might allow your, your mind to wander. You might get revelations or insights into life, love, people, God, the universe. And you're just in this moment, you're working. And yet you're, there's this other part of you, this other part of your mind that's going very, very deep into very... Uh, into territories. Oftentimes when I draw uh, and design, I look at it very much like prayer. It's, it's where I get in touch with myself and I'm able to communicate and put out and push out of me, download, if you will, download something from above me into, into what I'm doing or, or through what I'm doing. And I've talked to many artists and I know this is what occurs in us. And so here's this woman, and she's sewing. Now, interestingly enough, if we look at this, she's just lost in her work. So let's take a look at how he designs her work. How do we know she's sewing? Obviously, we can't see the needle. If we look at her hand positions, those type of things, we can see that she's probably sewing. But a great designer, a great composer, just doesn't rely on what you see. They need to make you feel the action, the animation. If you only focus on what they what you see, then the image oftentimes becomes very steel, cold, frozen. A lot of artists who paint directly from photographs suffer from this. The paintings are incredible, but it's frozen. It's like it's like this captured moment in time. A master isn't trying to capture a moment in time. They're trying to capture an experience and deliver that to you. And so in this case, if we allow our eye to rock through the design, you'll actually see, you'll get the feel that she's put the needle through through the clothes. She's pulled it out and pulled it to herself and then back, and she's repeating that little motion. That is the motion of sewing. I don't know if any of you have ever sewed before, I've sewed before. <laughs> My grandmother taught me how to sew when I was about 11 years old. She would, when she would come visit, she would mend our clothes. And one day I came home from school. I'm like, what are you doing, grandma? And she sat down and she showed me how to sew. And it was a skill that, <laughs> you know, a lot of people don't have nowadays and especially men. Um, but it was, it was something that I got to connect with my grandmother. So I can feel the movements of this sewing, this this repetitive motion. Now she's in this motion. So this is one design element. We're following the lines or the edges in this image. Now, if we ask ourselves, where's the highest point of contrast? Where's that moment in which the lightest light and the darkest dark are, are right next to each other? Boom, it's right there in the window. Now it's very, very strange. Why in the world would he put this big cross in, you know, in the middle of this painting. Well, when you look at it from the perspective of this woman is in this repetitive motive motion of sewing and she's focused on her work, well, then her mind drifts to things above, to more metaphysical, esoteric, uh, spiritual ideas. And she may just be a little housewife back in these days, sewing and mending her clothes. But she's a profound thinker. She has thoughts. She's deep. She's pondering life and death and eternity and, and, and morality and all kinds of things. And so this becomes much more than just a, a portrait of a woman sewing. This becomes a portrait of a very deep, rich soul who in the almost meaningless things in life find incredible meaning in it, or it's an opportunity to 
uh, pursue meaning through those things. It's a very profound painting, but it's the design, it's the composition that actually produces that, that awe in us. And so here she is. She's at peace and prayer in work. <laughs> 